Morning on this fine Sunday morning, Mother's Day. Happy birthday, all you moms. Um, I'm gonna go get my mom a fish or two so we can have fish, fish and chips for lunch. And hopefully, Jonesy will pull his weight today and actually catch a decent fish. What's on the menu? Uh, I reckon Snapper and King George. Yes, yes. I haven't seen my mate Jonesy, in fact, ever catch a big uh, snapper. So I'll be targeting Snapper for, for Jonesy today. Big girl. And now the big E. Princess is out on the water, ready to go for a big morning on the water here. Mandra. Hello, I'm back. I'm ready to attack. We'll just warm the boat up get everything in order and see what today brings. On the beautiful blue waters here in uh, the south of WA, just launched off Dawesville. Conditions are looking beautiful. The sun's rising in the background. Perfect weather for demersal fishing. Got a great captain with 30 years experience at the helm. Famously known as Guardi. One of the world's best. Sun's rising in the background. We've hit our first spot. Captain Gardy's already in the water. <clears throat> Conditions looking beautiful. Have a look at this sun's sunrise. Breakfast time for snapper. Seven. Yes, sir. Fuck up. Well done, Jodie. <sighs> Not bad. We'll throw him back. He catches mum. Can't go wrong with the Lunds. Yeah. Yeah. Can't go wrong with the Lunds squid. We've got some uh, mullet fillets for the for the demersal species, the snapper and the jewies. <clears throat> then we got Big E for good luck. So we're uh, we're out in about 20 meters of water, <clears throat> and um, I like to fish for a couple of things. So so today we're targeting the demersal species, but um, I always like to have a rod out for for the smaller stuff be it bait or King George or whatever. So I'm using these um, Shinto bloodworm uh, rigs and they're for, uh, they're for the smaller things like your King George. That is the, uh, the prime target on these. So I'm using size four. Uh, all right, so this is our little vexed uh, jig head. And we've got nice strips of mullet here. And then I've got the squid ready. And, um, oh. So 
So I always rig up these Vex from the bottom up. Just find it easier to go from the bottom of the strip. Fuck. I've got um, Guardy, Captain Guardy next to me and he's laughing. Why am I laughing? He's laughing because he thinks, turns he's pretending that he's a pro and he's done this before, but the reality is the opposite. He's never caught a side snapper on uh, on Guardy's vessel. You jinxed. But a little bit of dedication. Look at that sunrise. Never, as usual, Jonesy gets the undersized ones. Told you that. A side bed today, a side bed. That rig you've got there, you're gonna catch us a nice King George. I'm talking like 45, 50 centimeter King George. First fish of the day to Jonesy. Jonesy one, Captain Guardy none. Jonesy, can you put it on camera please? My fish will eat that one whole. <laughs> mm. Tip of the day, always have a bucket of water ready just in case the fish swallows it. Oh, look at that. Just when I go to get the pliers, he lets go. So that way you're always gonna keep your fish alive, fresh, you know, keep them going. Go look after the snapper because when you put the little ones back, they become big ones. Isn't that right, Big E? Yes, absolutely, Josie. <clears throat> Important to conserve your fishery. So the little ones are around. We will find the big ones somewhere. Because the more you conserve your fishery, the more fish you catch. Left the snapper in the um, in the bucket just to come back to life. And it looks like he's uh, he's good to go again. Come on then, mate. I'll get you back in the water, eh? <coughs> Surprised if it's a nice choice. Oh, two world class rass. Two of the best. Uh, so we're out on the blue ocean waters today, and I love nothing better than using light gear to catch fish. There's nothing better than the feel of a fish on a light rod, especially one that's going to go in the pan. <clears throat> so I like to bring out a nice um, light uh, rod and reel combo. I've got a uh, Shimano Satika bait caster with uh, 20 pound braid on it and a um, Shimano Raider six and a half foot uh, five to eight kilo rod which which is just heavy enough to um, to last to, to, to do the job when you're out on the ocean <clears throat> perfect combo if you ask me to catch King George yes Oh, you know you've got safe hands next to you. I hope so. So you just got to make sure... Oh, she's a big... We've got colour. We've got colour. This is a pinky. We've got colour. Oh, no, we've got a... Oh. Wait, you can come up, Josie. Hang on. Oh, it's little Sambo. Little flippin' Sambo, you little bastard. Oh. I don't want him, but it's, I'll take him. So, He's I think he's got the first... Fish on our oh, second fish on the boat, second undersized fish on the boat. So, uh, not bad, good effort. 
and good start to the day. Well done, Piggy. Thank you. No worries. Hey, it's pink. Oh, oh yes. Black one. Yeah. Well done, Jonesy. I like it. But now, where he is, there's meant to be Jewies and Snappy. They live in the same place. Life, you know. Yeah, we've got a nice black ass. <clears throat> um, what, what do they call him, Ian? What's the other word for him? What's that? A breaksy cod. A breaksy cod. There we go. Me, honey. Captain's on. There's a big bend in his rod here. This is looking promising. I hooked up by the rod. Ah. Yeah, boy. How big I got him, Jazzy. He's well hooked. Huh? He's well hooked, I got him. Sure? Yeah. Oh no, you better grab him. <laughs> Thank you, my mate. No worries, my buddy. He just called me number one fucking ducky. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Good mate. Thank you, my mate. That's what good deckies are for. Well, she's size, Biggie. So, uh, What's that called? Hey! What Stonefish. Oh, they're good eating, aren't they? I know. I ain't touching him. What bit's poisonous on the stonefish? The spike. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the stonefish, one of WA's most poisonous. What are we looking at, Biggie? Are you sure that's a little one, mate? Yeah. That's a huge king George. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Come on, Jazzy, I'm doing your job for you now. Mate, are we looking at a world record here or what? Looks like. Big King George, you get a King wow. George out of big. <clears throat> I've got them bigger too. Dinner tonight, Biggie. <sighs> yep, yeah, boy. <clears throat> That's, uh... Oh, this one's got a bit of life on him. Not sure what it is, but <clears throat> it's got a bit of a kick, you know. Definitely got a bit of a kick. I'll loosen the drag on it. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, fuck. It's George. Look at that, George, mate. It's the biggest George you've caught. <clears throat> oh, you go fishing with Big E. You catch fish. Well, this one's about, what do you reckon she is? About 40, 45? Good size George. L at least a kilo. <clears throat> well done, Jonesy. As soon as I let the drag go, she bit me. To use the squid tentacles as bait. Um, I like to use them like a, like a worm, you know? Thread them right up the hook. Uh, like you would a blood worm on a size four. The King George love it. 
tried and tested. It's worked twice today, hey. Yeah. Says Big E with his 53 centimeter specimen. They don't call him King Captain for nothing. <laughs> Been a bloody good day on the water with uh, with the trustworthy skipper Gardy next to me. Not finished yet. And uh, yeah, there's nothing like celebrating a good day on the water with a drink. Ching ching. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Not over yet. We haven't got a step or a Jewy. <clears throat> to be continued. We haven't. Two nice Georges. Two black asses. Just come back. Hey Big E, thanks for not putting us on the blowies today. Hey? Thanks for not putting us on the blowies today. Oh. Some big buggers, eh? There is, mate. Get a flick out of those, mate. <laughs> I couldn't find you. Couple of King George. Couple of uh, black earth. Black earth. Captain, putting us on the fish again. Oh. Another good day on the water. Until next time. To be, to be continued. continued. Hey guys, and welcome to Simon's uh, Catch and Cook. So tonight we're filleting some King George Whiting from today's, um, today's catch. And what we've got here is a nice uh, 50 centimeter specimen. I've already scaled it, so uh, we're just gonna just gonna go through the fundamentals of filleting the fish. So what we want to do is um, basically go right to the bone. Then we'll turn the fish. We'll go straight to the backbone. And just try an inch right onto the bone. Make sure we get every last piece of meat of the fish until we get to the point where we know we can go a direct cut. Hey guys, so um, so the final product is here. We've, we've spent a bit of time filleting the King George Whiting, and uh, and now we've uh, we've come to the finished product. So let's have a quick look. So there we go, as you can see, there's not much meat left on it. <clears throat> I've got two chunky fillets. <clears throat> I'll just turn them around. <laughs> there you go, look. That's, uh, that's a feed for a family there. You got a nice, uh, nice decent feed for three or four people. It's the uh, day after, the night and day before. Uh, we've got our King George Whiting ready now. So uh, the fillets are done. So now we've just got to prepare them and then uh, cook them. So I've got them sealed in some, um, 
small plastic bags. <clears throat> and um, what I'm going to do is just pull them out. See, they're a nice size fillet. Dip them in the water and the milk. And then, and I, I've got some flour. The one that I use is um, is a gluten free due to family uh, dietary requirements. But um, any flour will do. Just cover it nicely. And then what we want to do? <coughs> nice bit of salt. Some garlic. Happy days. All right, so that one's ready for the pan. I've got another three to go, and then we're on the frying pan. Let's have a look at the fillets. Got some nice sized fillets there. Decent King George. And uh, I'm using today Neil Perry's King George Whiting Munier recipe. Have a look on the uh, internet, you'll find that. It's probably uh, one of the better ways of cooking King George. And uh, let's give it a go, eh? Get, get these in the pan, get them going. Pan's nice and hot, we've got some butter on the pan. <clears throat> Ready for the fillets. So we'll delicately place two into the pan. <laughs> And just let them cook for a couple of minutes. So how do we know it's ready? We know it's ready. And we'll do the fourth pair. Ah, oh, look at that. Beautiful. Look at this fish. Ah, oh, beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Cheers.